Sugar Ray Leonard, Ayub Kaluli. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape to see how these two matched up and the age difference. Kaluli a couple of years older, both at 153. Leonard one inch taller. The reach Kaluli favored there by three inches. Uh, Leonard a little bit bigger upstairs in the chest, as you can see. Also the biceps and uh, pretty even in the forearm and fist. Sugar Ray Leonard, Ayub Kaluli. This is for the WBA Junior Middleweight Championship back in 1981 at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, and let's pick up first round action. Scheduled for 15 rounds, WBA junior middleweight title on the line. The referee is Carlos Barroquia. There is the champion, Ayub Kaluli, and Sugar Ray Leonard in the black trunks. <laughs> Leonard quickly throwing punches. Al, he's going to utilize his speed in this fight, isn't he? No, he, he feels that the, the hand speed would be a, uh, really a big asset for him. Kule has uh, got fairly good hand speed for junior middleweight, but he's uh, not certainly not as quick a puncher as Sugar Ray. Does Kule's style represent that of Europe, or do the African fighters have a particular style? He's pretty much a straight up and down fighter, and with a more European uh, uh, bent to it, I think. And that's what Leonard uh, has trained for in this fight, and that's what he expects to see. Kule fighting out of Denmark now. Originally from Uganda, Sugar Ray Leonard coming off that win against Roberto Duran, the no Mas victory, and of course a very big victory for Sugar Ray Leonard. Kulula trying to get his jab on track early in this fight. I think he wants to do that against Sugar Ray to try and take away uh, Ray's jab. Kulula with a reach advantage by three inches. In some way, Kalula neutralizes that advantage because he bends over and he leans in and uh, Sugar Ray more of a stand-up boxer. I often wonder if a European fighter is sometimes dazzled by uh, the foot speed, the, the artistry of a fighter like Sugar Ray Leonard as he's landed several punches on the inside. Well, that's often the case and that is very much what uh, Leonard would like to accomplish here. Sugar Ray Leonard at this fight, 25 years of age, 27-year-old Ayub Kalule. Ray obviously taking some time to figure out Kalule and from Kalule's standpoint, the same. Ray was put together to be a fighter. Everything works together. Great hand speed and uh, good punching accuracy. And in Kalule, he's facing a man who uh, has some defensive skills. He doesn't just wade in and get hit. Well, he sometimes leads with that right and leaves himself a little bit exposed. Kalula would like to land the straight left over, uh, over that. He's got a good straight left hand, and that's a punch he thinks he can get in and hurt Leonard with. And there he goes with that straight left to the body. He would like to work that body early on Sugar Ray and cut down a little bit on some of that foot speed. Leonard with the right hand, a pretty good combination got inside there against Ayub Kalula. Kalula comes back with a straight left and landed. Less than 20 seconds to go in round one, scheduled for 15, and Sugar Ray Leonard looking to add another world title to his collection, the WBA Junior Middleweight, and he has landed several punches as round one comes to a close. Roger Twibel, Al Bernstein back with you at ringside as we go back to 1981 for this fight between Sugar Ray Leonard and Ayub Kalule. We mentioned coming into this fight that Leonard had defeated Roberto Duran in his last outing. And for Kalule, he retained his title with a win over Bushy Bester in 10 rounds. That's a name that's forgettable in boxing <laughs> history. I think, uh, Al, that Leonard really established his hand speed in that first round. Yeah, he uh, showed that he could... Uh punch in combinations well and toward the end of the round landed some good left hooks to the head of Kalule and I think that really got the attention of Kalule and Sugar Ray punctuated the point by having a little lecture for Kalule right after the round. Yeah we saw the two talking or should we say we saw Leonard making a point to Ayub Kalule. What about Kalule's experience? What about his ring record? Has he fought anybody that's been well known in the, in the fight game. Well, as you mentioned in the, with Bo, uh, Bester, a lot of the fighters he's fought have come from uh, Europe and uh, always when European fighters come over here there's a question mark, but Kalula had a wonderful amateur career that included uh, 
an Olympic silver medal, and uh, so he's a fighter that has credentials, and we're seeing already in this fight, uh, he's no pushover, and he's got um, a lot of uh, skills. Kalule lands the right hand. Leonard with the quick feet, much more movement from Sugar Ray Leonard, and we saw right there Kalule coming in with the right, but not really being effective with it. You feel that he's got to come with that right a lot more? He wants to set up that, uh, he wants to use the right to set up the straight left, and he's trying to use his jab, but it's not nearly quick enough to get to Ray at this point. Leonard will flick that right hand out. The thing I like about watching Sugar Ray Leonard is the way he eyes an opponent. Clearly going downstairs a little bit, landed that left to the body. And uh, he is not getting in there where he can do damage uh, to the body. Kalule keeps that head down. Leonard goes downstairs to the body with a combination. When I say Sugar Ray, when he eyes his opponent, he's got darting eyes. He uh, keeps his head up. His hands are down, but he's got the quickness to protect himself. He really is a great ring technician, and that's part of it, seeing what your opponent's doing and understand what you can do to counter it. And also seeing the ring where you're at in the ring. As we have 20 seconds left to go in round two, this fight scheduled for 15 rounds from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, and happy you can be ringside with us as we take a look back to 1981. Sugar Ray Leonard and Ayub Kalule. And a good right hand and a left by Sugar Ray. There is a look at Ayub Kalule. He is the junior middleweight champion, WBA version, and Sugar Ray Leonard with a welterweight title looking to move up to that other title, the WBA junior middleweight crown. Kalule and Leonard, this is from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, back in 1981. We noticed some intimidation tactics at the end of both round one and two, Al, on the part of Sugar Ray. Well, I think that's all part of what he wants to do to Kalule. Uh, Kalule fighting in the United States for the first time in a, a foreign environment, and Sugar Ray wants to make things as uncomfortable for Ayub as he can, and so uh, hence some of the talking to him and uh, posturing. Good left by Kalule. Finally, Al, as you mentioned, he used the right to set up the left. Both fighters taking more risks here in the third round. They started in the last round, and now they're continuing it. I think they took a couple rounds to get a good look, and now they're starting to unload a little bit. Do you think at some point in time Sugar Ray had to trade punches with this guy early on, really, to see what he was made of, to see if he could take that punch of a, a junior middleweight? Well, that's what's on his mind right now in there. I think he's, he's wondering to himself, uh, uh, what's going to happen if I get hit with that straight left hand? Kalula not known as a tremendous puncher in his two of his wins over uh, better known fighters, Sugar Ray Seals and Kevin Finnegan. Uh, he, those were 10 round decisions and uh, that was a good indication of his power. Uh, he couldn't really hurt those fighters or knock them out, though he beat them and that's uh, two good uh, wins for him. Kalula sort of a stalking style, just moves in straight ahead. Leonard, of course, the side-to-side -side movement. As Al mentioned, just a marvelous ring tactician. He was born to be a fighter. He's got all the skills, and uh, there's the straight right hand from Sugar Ray. He wants to get that punch in. Kalule will give him mostly straight punches. He won't throw too many uh, right hooks uh, against uh, Leonard. You know, the thing about this fight is, with Kalule, I can't tell if his trunks are on backwards or frontwards. <laughs> they look the same from both Hard sides. Hard to tell. <laughs> Less than a minute to go, and this is the third round, as Sugar. Leonard came underneath with the uppercut. Sugar Ray in your basic black. He just looks good in the ring. He looks like a fighter is supposed to look. Ray unloading a little bit. He's uh, obviously taking his time here. Not only do anything that will... Uh, jeopardize uh, getting hit and I think at this point thinking about the fact that uh, this is a junior middleweight he's facing. Kalule has not thrown a lot of body punches Al. Now he wants to go to the body more and uh, he's just not quite getting in there against Ray and Ray's counter punching him when he uh, lowers his hands to go to the body. Kalule tried to go downstairs and did successfully land a body punch or two. 
Coming down to the end of round three, Kalule and Leonard from 1981. Sugar Ray Leonard with no intimidation tactics at the end of round three. Maybe a little bit more respect at this point in time for Kalule. Oh, he's getting down to business. And, uh, Kalule didn't respond to any of that, so I have a feeling he uh, sensed that it wasn't getting to him. Neither fighter has been hurt so far, and Sugar Ray Leonard has landed more of the effect.